Now let's read some music using these two clefs. For the treble clef, let's look at the beginning of the last movement of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. First, let's look at the notes that are used in the melody played by the treble instruments, beginning on C, the third space, then E, the fourth space, G on the top of the staff, and then descending F, E, D, C, D, C. Now the next part of the melody or phrase. C to D, D to E, and then a scale from the third space C to the C with two ledger lines an octave above the third space C. A scale is a series of single notes ascending or descending stepwise. Any note that connects to the previous note without skipping a letter in the naming of the note is a step. The notes also must connect from a space to a line or a line to a space directly next to it. In the Beethoven fifth example, we have a series of notes that connect in this way. C, D, E, F, E, F, G, A, G, A, B, C. If we look at the bracketed notes, we create a C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. We can also do this scale on the treble clef an octave lower, starting with the ledger line below the staff. Again, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. More about scales and steps later. Here is this passage from the Beethoven Fifth, played by the full orchestra. We will highlight the treble instruments playing these notes. Mm -hmm. 